how can you extend these simulacrum environments that make people feel younger? How can you extend that into everyday life is one question. And two, like what, what is your takeaway from all this? How, how do you make sense of this? Well, I make sense of it uh, the same way I sort of always have, which is um, most of our focus performance-wise over the centuries has been on training the body, right? There's been some cultures where training the mind was really important, but not as a general rule. And it's only been in the past 40 years, 30 years that we're really getting into this. But if you talk to most peak performance experts, they're gonna tell you that especially when you get to sort of the upper levels of talent, performance 95, 90% mental, 95% mental, and we're just starting to figure out what those those big levers are. Mm-hmm. So what all this means to me is that we're at the front end of this kind of performance revolution based around the brain. We're just starting to figure out how these things work at a, at a sort of a real level. Um, I think it gets really exciting and interesting from here. And I'm not even talking about like, you know, everybody wants to talk about the technological side. Oh, we got brain computer interfaces and those things coming and sure, maybe whatever. I'm literally just talking about what we're already capable of that we're starting to figure out the really tight mind body connections and, and how to sort of really nurture, nurture these things. I think we're at the front end of figuring this out. Do you think like a lot of the longevity people are saying that we're about to see a huge lifespan increase or do you think we're just going to see a health span increase but not necessarily like everybody's going to be living to 130 140 150 so what i tell people is like if you look at longevity science you look at regenerative medicine and and i write this about this in the book a little bit even though this isn't really what the book is about but regenerative medicine is a great example it the field started 25 years ago and i've been experimenting with it and researching about it and writing about it for pretty much the entire time and it was almost complete bullshit and vaporware until about five or six years ago Hmm. right it was nonsense nonsense and then about five or six years ago it starts to get real in smaller ways and by by today where i think the field is at, though other people could argue with me and disagree with me. What I say to people is ligaments, tendons, and bones, we've gotten really good at. Like if you're dealing with like health and longevity stuff up to the level of ligaments, tendons, and bones, we're there. We can pretty much fix it. We can repair it. We can back it up and we're getting better. We can't regrow cartilage yet, but um, maybe soon. But everything beyond that, People are gonna use stem cells to regrow your, like all that stuff, organ regrowth, organ printing, some of it's real um, and all of it's advancing, but we're not there yet. So until we're there, I don't like, I'm not buying it. One of the things that I've noticed about science is, and, and when this could be, we could be talking about VR, we could be talking about AI, we could be talking about stem cells, but like the gap between the hype and the reality the hypesters tend to want you to believe it's five to 10 years, but the reality tends to be about a generation consistently, 25 to 30 years. Hmm. So I'm not saying the stuff we're hearing about isn't real, but by the time it really gets to the mainstream, I'm still thinking it's gonna be that generation time frame. There's an elder care robot revolution happening right now. It's mainly being driven in Japan. There's not a yeah. replacement generation, right? Huge population um, decline. You, huge population decline and they're aging. And they're also the world leader in robotics. So now they're the world leader in elder care robotics and stuff is getting really good. And we're figuring out how to hang on to our physical faculties a lot later. Like we're figuring out how to deal with things like macular degeneration and things like that. So um, I'm not um, one way or the other. I'm optimistic. I like I like where we're trending. I just like the longevity science hype is a little a little hypey for me. Yeah. <laughs>